Assalamu alaikum. This is Nusrat Islam welcoming you all to Evening News. Law Minister Anisul Haq has said that the government will ban Jamaat Islami and Chhatra Shibir by Wednesday. The party will be banned through an executive order, he told reporters on Tuesday at the Secretariat. <laughs> রাজনীতিরও অনেক উন্নতি হবে কোন দলকে যখন নিষিদ্ধ করা হয় তখন সেটা নির্বাহী আদেশই হয় সেটা কোন আইএ কি বলে বিচার বিভাগীয় আদেশ হয় না যুদ্ধ অপরাধের দায়ে জামাতকে নিষিদ্ধ করা বিচার বিচার করার যুদ্ধ অপরাধীদের অপরাধের দায়ে বিচার করা এক কথা জামাতকে নিষিদ্ধ করা আরেক কথা এখন জন্ম সনদ দেখ হলো বিকাশ স্টুডেন্ট নিজের বিকাশ নিজে কর Awami League General Secretary and Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Qadir on Tuesday say the government will ban Jamaat e Islami, the rightist political party of Bangladesh, after considering the legal aspects, so that this evil force does not get the opportunity to do politics in independent Bangladesh through the loophole of law. Qadir said during a joint meeting at the Awami League Central Office on Bangabundhu Avenue. He also urged the Home Minister to ensure that no innocent people are arrested under the guise of mass arrests or increased detentions. Qadir added that law enforcement is identifying criminals by reviewing CCTV footage. The minister later accused the BNP of exploiting protesting students for their own benefit. <laughs> সামাজিক সংগঠন দাবি করে আসছে দলটির অতীত ও বর্তমান কর্মকাণ্ড বিভিন্ন সময় দেয়া আদালতেরা ইত্যাদি বিবেচনা জামাত শিবিরের রাজনীতি নিষিদ্ধে চোদ্দ দল সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ আইনগত দিকে দেখে শুনে সরকার শিগগিরই পরবর্তী পদক্ষেপ Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Tuesday said foreign technical assistance will be taken for the Judicial Probe Committee formed by the government aims at ensuring fair and standard inquiry of the quota reform movement. The Premier said this while the German ambassador in Dhaka, Achim Troster, called on her at her official residence, Gonopobon. The Prime Minister suppressed Secretary Mohammad Naimul Islam Khan briefed the reporters after the meeting. The government has formed the Judicial Inquiry Committee with the High Court Justice Khandokar Diliru Zaman to probe all the deaths centering the quota reform movement in the country. In the meeting, the Prime Minister said that Bangladesh, in the meantime, has a communication with the UN regarding taking assistance for this inquiry. The High Court on Tuesday expressed shame over the acts of violence and deaths that resulted from the quota protest movement, stating that all deaths are tragic. The High Court bench, consisting of Justice Mosafa Zaman Islam and Justice S.M. Masud Hussein Dolon, made this statement in a hearing on a writ petition seeking an order not to fire upon quota reform protesters and for the release of six coordinators from DB custody. During the hearing, the court further said everything is written in the constitution and the law, but no one is following the constitution and the law. On Monday, the writ petition was filed in the High Court seeking an order not to fire upon quota reform protesters. Several eminent civil society members have issued an ultimatum for the unconditional release of six coordinators of the quota reform movement currently in the custody of the Dhaka Metropolitan Police's detective branch within 24 hours. Transparency International Bangladesh Executive Director Iftekharu Zaman made the announcement at a press conference at the Dhaka Reporters' Unity on Tuesday on behalf of civil society. The event commenced with a written statement 
read by Sayada Rizwana Hassan, Chief Executive of the Bangladesh Environmental Lawyers Association, BELA. During the press briefing, the civil society members raised their 11-point demand, which included a full list of those killed during the quota reform movement, a transparent investigation into the killings under the supervision of high-level UN experts and punishment for the culprits. All public and private offices will run their operations as per their normal schedule, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. from tomorrow. The Ministry of Public Administration sent an SMS to the media personnel in this regard today. In response to widespread violence centering the quota reform movement, the government imposed a curfew beginning, beginning at midnight on Friday, July 19, following the curfew. A general holiday was declared on July 21, 22, and 23. Later, the curfew was relaxed from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. with office hours on July 24 and 25 set from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. From 28 July onwards, public and private offices operated for six hours from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has reiterated his call for all acts of violence to be investigated promptly, transparently and impartially and for those responsible to be held to account. He said they have taken note of the statements by the Bangladesh authorities that UN marked vehicles are no longer being deployed within the country. Stephanie Ducherik, spokesman for the UN Secretary General, briefed the reporters on behalf of the UN Secretary General on 29 July. The spokesman said they continue to raise their concerns about the situation in the country with the relevant authorities, both in Dhaka and in New York, and they count on Bangladesh to respect and uphold human rights, including as a top troop, contributing country to United Nations peacekeeping missions. Giving an update on Bangladesh, he said the Secretary General remains deeply concerned about the situation in Bangladesh. And that's all from the newsroom for now. To know updates, videos of this bulletin, visit our website www.ntvbd.com. Besides, visit our YouTube and verified Facebook page for updates over NTV's our popular programs and bulletins. Our next bulletin, Shondar Khabur, will be aired in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Thank you for being with us. Have a good time. अखंड जन्मों शनों देखो लो बिकास स्टूडेंट अकाउंट निजेर बिकास निजे कौन